Good morning everyone. It is Friday the 3rd of July and we're going to come together this morning and read uh, Psalm 16. It's a different tone of a psalm this morning. Uh, just as we read it together, let's listen and hear what it has to say to us. Psalm 16. Keep me safe, O God, for I have come to you for refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my master. Every good thing I have comes from you. The godly people of the land are my true heroes. I take pleasure in them. Trouble multiplies for those who chase after other gods. I will, have, I will take no part in their sacrifices of blood or even speak the names of their gods. Lord, you alone are my inheritance, my cup of blessing. You guard all that is mine. The land you have given me is a pleasant land and a wonderful inheritance. I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I shall not be shaken for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead. Or allow the holy ones to rot in the grave. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Amen. I hope from previous psalms you can see there's a, there is a slightly different tone to this one. It's more a psalm of rejoicing. There's very little in it about suffering. Um, there's very little in it about oppression from others. There is a mention to the world around and how the world around is. But the psalmist is, is praising God. He's giving thanks. It's as if the psalmist, yes, having been through ups and downs, where he is at this period in time, he, he feels blessed. He, he knows and feels that blessing from God. And yes, even though he can see things going on in the land around him, he doesn't agree with. He feels safe and secure in the Lord. You know, it's lovely to have that feeling whenever things are not going well with us, whenever we have problems of any sort, and we sometimes think to ourselves, will we ever see the other side of it? And people say all sorts of things to us, oh, it'll always get better, it has to get better, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know, the, people come out with all sorts of sayings to us, but we can't see that at the time, and it's hard for us to see a way out, maybe. But at the end of it all, we do come out the other side of it. And that's the point whenever we look back, we can see that God has been with us the whole way, just as the psalmist says. Um, I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. Uh, and even before that, um, talking about how God is with me, I bless the Lord who guides me, even at night my heart instructs me. It's that sense that at night, and night can be read as physical night time or as a time of, of trouble my heart instructs me God is with me you know so the psalmist is just rejoicing that God is always there it's the same for us you know and there's so many things we can say about God will always be with us until you actually walk that path it's hard to see and hard to know that but think about those times in your life whenever it's been difficult reflect back on it and you can see the hand of God with you. You can see him walking with you, holding you, carrying you. And that's what gives us our strength. So even at this time, whenever so many of us are frustrated with lockdown and everything else, we know God will bring us out the other side. Like every other trial that we come across in life, nothing is bigger than God. He will always be with us. Always help us through. Psalm 16 has so much in it. That's just a little scraping of um, what we can we can glean from it. Go back again. I encourage you to go back with all the Psalms. Go back again and read them again. And read it for yourself and see what it's saying to you. See where God is talking to you. See where God is either encouraging you or challenging you. Um, where he's maybe telling us, telling us off or where he's encouraging you. And just read it for yourself as well because it's so important that we do this together that we learn together but it's also so important that as individuals we read God's word for ourselves to see what God is speaking personally to us. So it's Friday. Trust that today you have a good day um, and then 
that as the weekend comes that you have a time of rest and recovery. Um, and then if you can, join us again on Sunday at, nine, at 11 o'clock. I'm going to say 9. At 11 o'clock on Sunday as we come together to stream. It'll be slightly different this Sunday. Um, so come along and see what we're doing. Um, but it'll be really good to have you join us on Sunday morning at 11 just as we come together. And again, we're, we're doing a series on I Am's. So we're going to be on I Am the Light of the World. But let's just pause at this time and let's pray together. Father, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for the fact that we can see you always with us. Maybe at times, Father, it's hard for us to see that whenever we're going through trouble. But whenever we look back, we can see you with us, carrying us and helping us. And we thank you for that. Thank you, Lord, that you are always there. Lord, today, just be with us again and help us. In whatever situation we find ourselves in, in whatever is going on in our lives, just be with us and be near to us, we pray. May your hand be upon us, guiding us and keeping us safe. And may we find ourselves close to you. And Lord, whenever we could come across those times, whenever it's difficult, whenever it's so hard, whenever we just want to give up, Lord, please just remind us again of your presence, of your goodness, just that you're with us. So Father, thank you. And keep us safe this day, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks. God bless, and I'll see you on Sunday morning at 11. Bye.